Hey, what's up guys? Now, Awesome Effects Productions episode here, and so today I am doing my LEGO Star Wars Geonosis Mock Update number one. So, basically, if you guys didn't know, if you didn't watch my last live update, you should, but um, I did mention that I was going to be starting a Geonosis Mock, and I did start it, and I have quite a bit done. I mean, not like nowhere near finished, but... I have a good amount done where I can actually show you guys an update and kind of give you some plans and detail about what is to come in this mock for Geonosis here. So uh, let's just get right into the mock. Alright guys, so moving on to the mock itself and what I've done so far and plans and all that. So like I said, or I don't know if I mentioned it, but this mock is going to be 8 green base plates big. It actually might be 9. I'm debating whether I should add two half base plates in the back, which I will show you in a minute, like, where I would say, there you go. But before I get into this, I just want to mention the figures I'm using. Now, I don't have some of them with me, but I can easily tell you which ones. So, I know this isn't, I don't know, like, as accurate as it could be, but I'm using just regular battle droids because I don't have, I have, like, three um, dark orange droids so I'm not really gonna use those because it'll take way too much time to build up that army so I'll just be using regular battle droids and then a few security droids um, inside of the main part of the mock and well I don't know if it's main but like the main part of the mock but the security droids will be in there as well um, and then clones I'm using all the uh, the two figures from the new Geonosian battle pack so just those is what I'm using for this mock for clones. I don't know yet. I might use um, other clones, but there wasn't many other clones that were in um, the first or second battle of Geonosis. Geon oh, I keep saying Geonosis instead of Geonosian. Ah, okay. This is going to take a lot of practice, but there wasn't many different types of clones in the Geonosian battles, so I'm not really sure that I'm going to be using any other ones besides those. Um, but for vehicles, I'm either going to use my Republic gunship or my ATTE, but I'm leaning more towards the ATTE only because a gunship is going to be fairly large for an 8 green base plate mock. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of determining whether I should, like, which one I should use, but I think that'll be decided towards the end when I have, like, everything done, basically, and then, you know, just placing figures and stuff on there. But, continuing on with plans. So, all eight um, base plates will be covered in reddish-brown plates. And, as you can see, I only covered three, which I'm not going to show you what's there yet, because I want to talk about that kind of towards, towards the end. But, uh, this one, I did not, I was not able to finish. I do have plates, but it's not going to cover much, so I'm just going to wait, because I placed a target order, and that order is just set. And I wish I could have uh, added... A different set instead of one of them that I got because it could have been useful for this mock but I couldn't because I didn't have enough money but um what was I saying oh plates so then I uh I placed a bricklink order last night and the worst part is is that I changed the plans right after I made that order and I don't want to cancel the order because I hate doing that to people because I know when I get orders like I don't want to cancel blah 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 but I don't know what I should do I could use the parts that I ordered, but I really don't need them. So, I could always find a use for them. I don't know. I I'm probably going to cancel it, though, because it really wouldn't do me any good to get those parts in and then not really use any. I mean, I ordered slopes for something that's over there that I'll show in one second, but I don't know. There's not many. I don't know. I'll just have to... I'll probably cancel the order and just place a different order for somewhere else. But, anyway... This is the main part that I've been working on and the main part I want to talk about in this update. So, here is basically going to be, I don't know what you call it, um, I saw, I've seen a few, uh, Genosis mocks and there was a lot of different styles, I have to say. There was, uh, Chris Productions made one and he had this thing where it was basically a corner that was like rounded off and it just went up like as a mountain. And then inside, there were uh, Geonosians and other uh, other droids, but I'm not really sure what that was. And I looked it up, and you know there's a droid factory on Geonosis, because Geonosis is a uh, 
place where all the droids are made and everything. So I'm not sure yet what I'm doing with this, but I know that it's going to be good and very detailed. Anyway, um, if you guys are wondering why there's these two plates here and then the um, bricks here is because I'm holding these two base plates together. Because what I'm doing for this mock is I'm going to make it really easy for me to take apart, put together, and build. Because if I have them where I can easily take them apart and stuff, it'll be really easy for me to work on one individual plate at a time. Because otherwise I have to reach over the whole mock. And it just gets kind of crazy. Especially when I have tons of parts out everywhere, which I did clean this area off before I made this video. But, um, continuing on, this... This side is done, like, uh, slope-wise, for the moment. This side isn't done, but I have the parts in that BrickLink order, which is why I don't want to cancel it, but I think I'm going to, like I said. So, I definitely need to finish that off before the next update. And, as you can see, it's like a bridge on the top over here. So, there's plates. This is one of the sturdiest structures I have ever made, and I don't know how I did it, but I'm, you know what? I'm going to take these off so I can turn this all around. This is exactly where I wanted to do this, just so I could take all these off. And then I can just show you guys and make it much easier so I don't have to turn everything around. So, just take those two base plates out of the way. Doesn't damage anything. And I can just kind of pull this closer and turn it for you guys. Okay, so, as you can see, there's layers of gray or dark bluish gray uh, plates, like, stacked on top of each other. And this thing is rock solid. Like, it's really well built. So, I don't know how I did it, but I did. There's, I think I used, without kind of smaller plates, I probably used, like, 25 plates just for, like, this. And they're not, like, small either. Like, this one alone is, I think, a 6x10. They're both, like, 6, they're all four 6x10s. I don't know. It's just a really good structure. So, I'm just going to turn this around. Maybe you guys can see it a little bit better. And this is what the back looks like. I kind of messed this up here, but I'm going to fix it after just fix this all right so here it is you can kind of see the layers now let me focus here you can kind of see the layers now and they kind of came undone but that's that um basically in here i'm going to tile it with either dark bluish gray or light bluish gray but yeah light bluish gray but i'm planning on doing dark bluish gray only because it kind of goes along with the plates and the pillars that i'm using so I guess that's kind of what I'm going to do, and then here I need to add a plate so that these can stay and it'll be a little bit more sturdy. But you can see just kind of, there's nothing in there right now, and I need to work on that, and that'll definitely be, like, some of this will be done for the next update. But this is just kind of to show you guys everything that's been going on. I'm kind of going to end this video now, but inside here, like I said, control room, and this is where I was talking about adding the, as I make a lot of noise, uh, adding the extra half base plate, like two of them, because it's dark bluish gray, I have enough plates to cover this, and I can just extend it, so I think that's what I'm going to end up doing towards the end, and that'll be like the last thing I decide on, uh, besides the Republic gunship and ATTE, but uh, one thing I wanted your feedback on was, should I continue this, and kind of go up, and s curve in a little bit, and have two windows, like on e either side, uh, I could do that and then have like more slopes up here. So it'd basically all be covered in slopes except for there'd be a few little windows like on either side. I think it'd look really good. Um, or I can just make this like finish this off and then put, you know, droids up here. I don't know. Just leave your ideas down below because I want your help as well so that you guys enjoy this mock as much as I do. So let me just quickly, very quickly, put these plates back where they go. Just so you guys can see as I kind of messed it up a little bit here. But that's that. So this is basically what I have done, like I said. So make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next mock update for my Geonosis mock updates videos. I don't know what to call them. Whatever, but I will see you guys later.